Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry, it has been like I think a week and a half since I've uploaded a makeup tutorial and I apologize, like in my last video, I think it was pretty obvious that I was in Chicago. Um, if you guys read the description and if you watched the video, you knew that I was in Chicago for an interview um, for graduate school. It went really well and now I am back, so this is my first makeup tutorial since I've been back. I am so sorry, I will upload more frequently and I have ideas for my next few videos, so don't worry, those are going to come. So for today, I have created a dark smoky eye. This is an all black smoky eye. It's a little bit more dramatic than I think most smoky eyes are, but as you all know, I am a dramatic person and I like bold looks. So what else can you expect from me? Anyway, I hope you guys like this video and don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe so that you never miss another makeup tutorial with moi. And without further ado, let's get to the makeup. So the first thing I'm picking up is my Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer and this is pore minimizing so it actually makes your skin like a lot smoother before putting any product on. So I'm going to apply this on my eyelids just to like smooth everything out and then I'm also going to put it all over my face so I don't have to repeat this step later on. So up next I'm picking up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the color Honey and I'm just going to apply that on my eyelids just to get rid of any of the darkness that may have stayed over from this morning's makeup. So for today, I'm only going to be using the Kylie Cosmetics Bronze Palette for my eyes. Um, it's full of a bunch of like brownish colors, like a, like a very dark black that I'm going to be using obviously, and then a bunch of transition colors that I can also use. This one, I've actually used this palette so many times that this color is completely gone. Um, kind of sad about it, but it's okay. I have a bunch of other palettes that like have the same kind of color that that one did. But anyway, so before I go into my eyeshadow, I'm going to be picking up some tape and as always, I will be lining it along my bottom lash line just to make sure everything is very clean with this look. I'll just line it up so that it meets the edge of my eyebrow. So now I'm going into the Kylie palette and I'm picking up this brown color right over here. And with a pretty big fluffy brush, I'm just going to apply that into my crease. So what I'm going to do next is pick up the NYX Lip Top Coat. So this is actually a something for your lips, but I use this as a prime, like basically a base for the black eyeshadow that I'm going to be putting on my lid. I'm just going to apply that all over like the lid, kind of close to the eye. We don't want to spread it out too much because the eyeshadow does need to blend in, the black eyeshadow does need to blend in with like this transition color. So I'm going to try keeping it pretty close to the eyelid. Next I'm going to be picking up the black color on the Kylie palette and with a pretty like fluffy but flat ended brush I'm just going to pat that onto my eyelid. And before I move on to the other eye I'm going to be picking up a smaller fluffy crease brush and I'm just going to apply that a little bit more and try to blend it in. I will go back and end up like using the transition color again and like blending it a little bit more but this will help first before some like the base dries out. And then I'm just going to go back in with all the different colors and try to blend everything out because like as you guys can see it's like pretty crazy right now and nothing's blended, but we are going to fix that.
So before we do anything else, I'm going to be picking up this light color on the Kylie palette over here with a pencil brush. And I'm just going to highlight underneath my brows. So before we uh, take off the tape, we're gonna apply some eyeliner and I'm picking up the Tarte Sex Kitten Eyeliner. So I am straying away from my Kat Von D tattoo eyeliner, but I still love that one. So this next step is completely optional and I actually just decided I was going to do it. I know that I said we were just using the Kylie palette, but I just decided I was going to do this. So I'm picking up my Urban Decay single eyeshadow in the color Baked. So this is like a pretty gold color and with a pencil brush, I'm going to add this on the inner corner of my eye just to add some glitter because I do love glitter and gold. So the last thing I'm going to do before moving on to my face is apply my Tarte Fake Eyelashes. So I didn't show this on video, but after applying my fake eyelashes, I did put on some mascara just to blend my real eyelashes, my real eyelashes along with my fake eyelashes. And as always, I was using my Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. Sorry, I'm eating some Sour Patch. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to my face, and I'm starting off with my Tarte BB Tinted Treatment Primer in the color Medium Tan. Now to set that BB Tinted Treatment Primer, I'm picking up my Hello Flawless uh, Pressed Powder by Benefit. Oh, and this is in the color amber, or yeah, amber. So now I'm gonna move on to my concealer and contour. And to conceal, I am picking up my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer that I used earlier. So it's the same color, honey. And yeah, I'm gonna conceal. Duh. And now I am going to set that with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder. So I'm going to let that bake for a little bit, and while it does, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. But first, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Brow Wiz in the color Dark Brown. And then to finish filling them in, I'm using my Anastasia Dip Brow in the color Dark Brown as well. Just going to take an angled brush and fill them in. Up next, I'm going into my contour. And first, I'm picking up my LA Girl Pro Conceal High Definition Concealer in the color Toast. Oh man, that was a lot of crap. Oops. So now I'm going to go back in with a powder contour just to set everything that I just did. I'm picking up my Anastasia Medium to Tan Contour Kit as always. And I'm picking up first with a angled brush, I'm picking up the darkest color over here and I'm going to apply it on my cheekbones and my temple. And then I'll go in with a smaller taper brush to do my nose. Jeez, my hair. 
hair is everywhere. I actually forgot to do my chin, so I'm just gonna do that with a powder contour. And then with a small tapered brush, I'm going to pick up the same color and contour my nose. Moving on to blush, I'm picking up my tiny NARS blush in the color Golu. Go, go, I don't know. I have no idea. I'll just put the, I'll put the name in the description. <laughs> Now to finish off my face, I am picking up my Anastasia Beverly Hills Glow Kit, or Sun Dipped Glow Kit, and I'm taking the color Bronzed, which is the brown color on the top left. Oh, my cat wants to come into my room. Nix! Nixie! Okay, never mind. Anyway, I'm picking up Bronzed, and I'm going to apply that on my cheekbones and my the bridge of my nose. So to finish off the eyes, I'm going to be picking up my Kylie palette again, and I'm going to actually not use black for the lower lash line just because I don't want something that dark. So I'm first going to pick up this color that we used as a transition color to begin with, and I'm going to line my la lower lash line, and if I want to go darker, I will go darker. <laughs> So I'm actually going to go a little bit darker. I am picking up the brown color right over here. And I'm just going to apply that on the outside part of the line. I'm not going to go towards my tear, tear duct at all. And then to finish off the eyes, I'm picking up my Better Than Sex Mascara again. And I'm just going to apply it on my lower lashes. So for lips today, I started off wanting like a bright red lip, but I feel like that might be a little too much, especially with the lower lash line so dark. So I'm going to get a nude lipstick. I don't know which one yet, so bear with me. Hmm. I don't know. So I decided not to go with a nude. I, I think I'm going to go with this orangey color. I know that's not at all a nude what I said, but I with the brown that's in my eyeshadow, I feel like it could look kind of cool. So we're going to try it out. Um, this is the Kylie Lip Kit, so it comes with a liner too. Um, it is in the color Pumpkin. So first I'm going to line my lips, and then I will go in with the lipstick. kind of like it, right? So this is the final look. Um, I think I kind of like the orange lipstick. I think for my skin tone it works pretty well, but if you are like a little bit more pale, if you're more fair, um, the orange might not look so good. It might wash you out. Kind of depends on the person and the skin tone and like facial features and stuff, but yeah. So if you don't like the orange, if you don't really have a color like that, if it just doesn't look good on your skin tone, definitely opt in for a nude. You could also go for like a bright red lipstick like I was planning on it before, but for me that seemed a little too extra, a little bit too much, so I wanted to kind of tone it down a little bit, which is why I went with something like this. I promise that for my next video it will be a little bit more of a daytime look and less of a dramatic nighttime look. I know a lot of you have been asking for that. And I promise that for my next video, it will be more toned down and more of an everyday look. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys liked this video. If you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Thank you!